Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today about a 65 Mustang GT Fastback in what I feel are awesome colors. If you're watching this video, it's as nice looking in person as it is uh, what you're seeing right now. More importantly, if you're looking at other cars online and maybe you're uh, comparing this car to some others, which I have no idea why you do that, but let's just say, let's just say somebody suggested you should. Make them do a video of the car, man. The video shows all this stuff, and I'm going to show you the good and the bad of this car, and you're going to say, wow, that's a really nice car. Uh, I got to get Jimmy, who's trying to sell me the same old car with no warranty, no shipping included, no video, no 50 high def pictures, and no undercarriage look. I don't get any of that. No, that's why people do business with Flemings, and that's why I'm going to help you find a way to get this car in your world. So, Wimbledon White now becoming the hottest color uh, in 2016. It's the most uh, prominent color of the new car purchases right now is white. Uh, so it's amazing how what's old is new again, and this fits in so great. I love the Wimbledon white with the red stripes, the red collets, and the red line tires on there. One of the nice things about these tires here is although they are red line tires, they're radial tires, and they're not the belted tires from the yesteryear, because the belted tires from yesteryear, although are more specific if you're going to show this car all over the country, the drivability is 50% better with this here. So uh, the, I do like to do the paint uh, quality check with you on here, but white doesn't show up so well, but we're going to do it anyway because uh, I want you to see the best you can see. So I like uh, Colin just to show how clear the type is there. And we can read that it says Mustang across there, fast back there. We can read every word down there. And that's what you want somebody to do. You want them to be able to see what time it is. You want it to be clear on what kind of camera it is, things like that, all right? Okay, so what makes a Mustang Fastback so great looking to begin with? Well, it always looks like it's moving forward, right? So this body line down here with the air intake on the side, the GT would not get this chrome piece in here, right? GT would have the fender badges here, 289 call outs, right? Whether they are or they aren't, and there's no way to authenticate them for sure, uh, this is just a great looking car and who cares? It's just so spectacularly restored, I don't care what it is. It could be a beautifully recreated Beetle, and if it looks this good, I'd still drive it, and that's why I bought it, so, all right? Anyway, so the factory road wheels as well. We talked about the red line tires, and we keep wandering around here. So, as the car gets faster, uh, it has these vents here, but inside, there's also releases, all right? So these are actually functional, all right? And you come on back around here, and then we have some great styling. So, for instance, original Mustang-style taillights there, the GT valance panel in the back with the exhaust tips coming out there, all right? gas cap and if you look down the inside of the car from here like check out this view for a second this is a great looking car uh, from here I just think it looks really really nice all right so we looked at styling I don't want to reinvent the car for you but I just wanted you to be able to see how really nice this car was and uh, now we're gonna go check out under the hood all right all right all right let's check out under here so let's say you wanted to go to a car show all right cool let me show you how you can and open the hood and the trunk which will show as well and why it's important that the little detail stuff be done. All right, you say, well, what's the big deal? If I want to go to a car show, it's shiny enough outside. Yes, it's shiny enough outside, but you're saying, well, why does this car look so nice? I'm going to show you why. Come on in here and we'll see. For instance, we start out with the battery topper on here. This is an old school battery topper. We have the correct chrome valve covers on uh, the right air cleaner here. We have the washer bag in place. All right. We have the uh, uh, timing instructions here as well. This is painted satin black like it's supposed to in here, not body colored. The Mustangs have painted this color here and under carriage, not body colored. Stainless steel bolts are holding the fenders on, right? Painted nicely under here. Everything's not spray bomb black. It's all the right colors and looks good. Dual horns. Well, what's the big deal about dual horns? Well, a lot of times we get cars with no horns at all. This car has both horns in there, it has a GT uh, grill with the fog lights, all right? and all the little things that make up for uh, this really nice thing. So when you open the hood, people will gather around and go, wow, that's really nice. And then you'll say, you know what, now I know what they mean when, the, when somebody walks by and goes, wow, that's really nice because the detail stuff is done. All right, so let's take a quick peek in here. All right, so trunk is detailed nicely. Stripes to here, right? Jacking instructions in there. It's all painted and detailed in here as well. And more importantly, this is in place like it's supposed to, we'll tone it. What is the big deal with the trunk lid staying up? Well, a lot of times people don't put these in. When they finish restoring the car and they wonder why their trunk lid won't stay up, that's actually the rod that holds the trunk lid up. All right, it's got the bright tartan mat inside here, and there's actually a lot of room, and when I fold down the rear seat for you, you're gonna go, wow, this is like a station wagon. Well, it's not really like a station wagon, but I can tell you this, there have been a lot of action in this car, maybe not this particular car, but cars just like it, uh-huh, with the seat fold down. 
No, I meant carrying stuff from like Home Depot, not what you were thinking. Oh my God, come on, seriously? All right, so some of the restoration of a car is, is little things like this. Like, did they finish up replacing the chrome trim all in here? Yes. Are these vents functional? And they are. They just haven't been moved in a while, and now they work. These lights work here. Look how nice this looks back here, man. This is so beautiful. And, and it, what it does is it turns uh, a four-seater into a coupe if you want it to be. All right? Let's get inside here where you're going to spend most of your time. All right? So let's check this out. All right. Here we are hooked up. Little things to me say, okay, somebody spent some time on the restoration. We looked at some stuff under the hood. We saw the detail in the trunk, chrome strips in here and the vents at work, right? Little stuff like the footwell lighting. The fact that the footwell lighting works is amazing. You say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about a couple of bulbs and footwell lighting? Well, nine times out of 10, those things don't work because people don't want to spend the extra money to rewire and do all of those last little pieces. This has an all new dash and gauges in here, right? Showing now 188 miles on it. Um, this custom console, I like. It doesn't have to be in here. We can put the stock factory one in here if you like, but I like this because it had cup holders and what have you. It's got a little storage, place for an iPod, iTunes, or whatever. Steering wheel is still super classic. If it was me and I bought this car, I'd make me send you another one of these with this, right? So you could mount it on your wall in your office because that right there would be killer, killer office art, all right? Uh, I'm now going to start it, but I have probably misplaced the keys as I normally do, and I'm the biggest offender of that, so give me a second. I'll be right back, and I'll get the keys. All right, I did find the keys, which is really a good sign, okay? Uh, this is nice too, like the lights work on here like they're supposed to. This is kind of cool because it's a stock looking radio, but it has AM, FM, uh, and some capability to add, for instance, cassette, a CD, uh, and some other modules if you want an iPod or those kinds of things, so that's there. And then you got this fabulous piece of invention, the four speed. Whoa, how you doing? Check out this sound, a little 289. It's been rebuilt. It's got a little extra cubic inches in it. It's got a little bit of upgraded camshaft. It's got an upgraded exhaust. It's a lot more power than I would have had from the factory back in the day. But hear it for a second. I think you'll like it. All right, so let's close this video up, man. First off, <laughs> it's just great looking. Sorry. I don't need to say any more. But throw in a four-speed, beautiful restoration. The underneath looks really, really nice, too. Uh, beautiful red interior with the white outside and the red stripes. Totally complement this car. This car rolling down the street. Here's the problem. When this car is here, it still looks great, right, amongst all the other great cars that are here. But outside this car on the road with regular cars is ridiculously over the top. So if you can find a way to get a really cool car, imagine taking your kid to school in this car or taking another couple out to dinner, right? Take another couple out to dinner. They're going to push the Porsche around the side guaranteed this thing they park right up front and everybody who walks outside just stand there for a second they don't need to know it's your car walk outside everybody will say wow i remember when oh my god look how beautiful it is oh why can't we get one of those boom all right anyway call us 301-816-1000 tell you a way to get this 65 fastback in your garage